Hello guys, and how are you doing? Uh, probably you run into a problem before if you happen to speak a second language. So my problem is this. Yeah, I think you know what I'm talking about. Now, if you change the language to correct settings, then obviously, suddenly... Everything sounds perfect. And the problem isn't that big if you uh, force uh, your TTS to speak with a foreign accent, which sounds hilarious, just listen to this. What happens when you forget to change your language settings? But here's the problem. My headphones are able to pass all the messages uh, to me. So if my friends are texting me and I'm cycling, I can hear everything uh, in my headphones and it's all good. Uh, however, if my Polish friends send me a text message in, uh, in English and my headset is obviously set by default to default uh, language on my mobile, then everything goes crazy. So this is a small solution to, uh, made in Tasker, how to change um, language of a voice notification um, depending on who's, who you're talking to. So let's have a look. As usual, we're gonna start by creating a folder and then we need to go to Event, Plugins and create Auto Notification Intercept uh, Condition. From there, it's very simple. If you've got a message, you can fill from current, but we're going to focus on created message that is not persistent and it also has a reply action. So it's usually all the WhatsApp messages and stuff like that. And now we can select the different apps that we're going to monitor. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to focus on uh, WhatsApp, Hangouts and the Messenger from Facebook. Obviously, if you use other apps like WeChat, uh, etc., uh, you can just simply select them here. Uh, you have to bear in mind that uh, the text of the message and the title of the message uh, has to contain the name of the person that is uh, sending you a message and the, obviously the message itself. So once this is selected, what's going to happen? The auto notification will respond to the messages being sent to your device and it will generate a lot of local variables that we can use in our task. Uh, um, task. So let's go ahead then and create a task. So let's go to the task, create a new task and the first action that we're going to use is going to be action say. In this action obviously what we want to include is the text message of the, um, well, the, the message itself and also if you want to you can include the name of the person that's sending the message to you. The text we want to say, it's going to be auto notification variable uh, and text which contains the uh, text of the message itself. Now in the engine you're going to have by default selected your default language and what we have to do is just go to different language settings and copy the, um, the actual the package name from the voice engine. We're going to set a variable with this name and we're going to use a variable to decide which language we're currently using. So using variable set, we're going to paste a, a package for the language and set the variable name to lang for language. Then just copy and duplicate the same action as we're going to modify it. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same settings. We're just going to uh, grab a second language so in this case, I'm just going to use a Polish, which is a second uh, language for this tutorial. So as before, just select the language, copy the package name and then uh, enter it back into the uh, set variable uh, action. And you'll notice now we have two different tasks. Each one will set a different language. The last step is to go back to the say action and select the variable for the language and obviously our variable it's going to be lang for language. So each time uh, this uh, action will uh, want to say something to us it will check with language it should use to do so. So how do we choose the languages? We're going to use search uh, replace variable and we're going to create a new variable alternate languages so alter language 
and this variable will contain the names of the people you want uh, to monitor for. So if someone's speaking Polish, I'll, pu I'll put them on the list and we'll see if uh, this variable contains someone from the uh, list, then we're gonna switch to Polish language. So in the variable select, we're going to use untitle, which holds the name of the person that sent us a message. And we're going to check multiline, looking for one match. Uh, and then we're going to store the result in the array called found one. If search replace will find uh, the matching name on the whitelist, it will populate an array uh, found one. And that will uh, create a first item in this array. And it will be just a name that I found. But it doesn't matter because what we're going to do, if the uh, variable found one one, so first element of this item is set, this means that the result has been found. If it isn't sent, it means that the name uh, of the person that sent us the message isn't on the whitelist and we can use default English language. So that's pretty much it to be honest. So let's uh, right now just set uh, the name for this um, profile and you can see this is where you're supposed to uh, enter uh, the details of your contacts so I've entered my name and uh, if you want to add more names obviously uh, just uh, type them in all you have to remember just enter them on separate lines as each each name will be checked on the new line so I guess you, you got the idea here so let's test it out. I'm gonna send myself a, a text message and after a short while I should get the message back and the communication spoken. Test this. As you can see the broken English means that uh, this uh, method is working correctly. And as usual guys, thank you so much for watching. All the links and description uh, is available also on my website notinathtech.com. Uh, Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye!